Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen your image using a high pass radius filter in Photoshop and let's get to it. So here we have our image and here's our background image here. First thing we want to do is duplicate this image. We can do that by hitting Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC and there we go. If you want to do it manually you can right click and go to duplicate layer, press OK. The next step is to desaturate this layer. First I'll show you how to do that with the hotkeys. You press Command Shift U on a Mac or Control Shift U on a PC. And I'm going to quickly undo this here and I'm going to show you manually how to do that. You want to go up to the top menu, click on Image, Adjustments, and down here we have Desaturate. Give that a click and we get the same effect. The next step is to change the blend mode. Go over here to the blend modes and let's find overlay. There we go. And now it's time to apply our high pass radius filter. We go up to the top, click on filter, down to other, and right here we have high pass. Give that a click. And what we can do is adjust this radius here until we find the desired effect. And there we go. The nice thing is you can use the opacity if you want to just dial it in a little bit and find that perfect balance. Or what you can do is apply a layer mask going at the bottom here. So now we're going to change our layer mask to black so it hides it, black conceals. And to do that I'm going to press Command I on a Mac or Control I on a PC. And now we don't see the effect on our photo. And let's say I want to bring it right through to this droplet here. So I'm going to go to the brush, make sure it's on white, and for this demo I'm going to change the opacity to 100% so it just brings it through. And I'm just going to focus on these droplets right here. And there we go, you can see where the white is, it reveals the sharpening. And let's turn that off. There's before, and there's after. So that was a quick look on how to sharpen using high pass radius filter in Photoshop. So if you don't feel like going through this step, I've left a link down below so you can download our free Photoshop action. Thanks for watching.